I am going to teach you about the some special types of anemia. So, well, these are the morphological types of anemia. So, before going to the morphological types of anemia, uh, so what is anemia? So, how you define the anemia? Definition of anemia. Anemia means inability of blood to supply tissue with adequate oxygen for the proper metabolic function. Usually associated with decreased RBC or red cell count. Usually associated with decreased level of hemoglobin or hematocrit value or level hematocrit that is also known as the PCV or the packed cell volume. So how you diagnose the anemia? So diagnosis of anemia made by patient history, physical examination, sign and symptoms and hematological laboratory finding. Anemia may be classified as mild, moderate and severe. In severe form, the hemoglobin level is below 7 gram per deciliter. In moderate form, the HB level is 7 to 10 gram per deciliter. In mild form, there may be the between 10 to 11 gram per deciliter. Usually two general forms of anemia. One is the absolute anemia in which there is decrease in red cell mass and other is relative anemia in which there is increased plasma follow that gives appearance of the anemia. So what are the different symptoms of anemia? So this in the diagram that show the presentation of the anemia. So the uh, red word that show the symptom of the severe form of the anemia. So in eye there is a yellowing of the eye. In the skin there is a paleness of the skin, coldness, yellowing, respiratory shortness of the breath or the dyspnea, muscular weakness. In intestinal changes there is a change in the stool color. In central there is a fatigue, feeling of dizziness, fainting hypotension or the low blood pressure in heart there is a palpitation a rapid heart rate chest pain angina and then may lead to the heart attack in severe form of the anemia in spleen usually there is a splenomegaly now the functional classification of anemia in functional classification, one is the hypoproliferative in which there is a decreased RBC production. So there is decreased RBC production lead to defective hemoglobin synthesis that's uh, seen in the iron deficiency, B12 deficiency, folate deficiency and impaired bone marrow or stem cell function as seen in the leukemia. Then increased RBC destruction or the hemolysis seen in the sickle cell anemia and different form of the hemolytic anemia and combination of two sometimes called ineffective erythropoiesis. So now come to the morphology. So one morphological classification is the microcytic hypochromic anemia. So how microcytic hypochromic? So all of you know about the size of the RBC. Usually the size of the RBC is 7.7 uh, 7 to 8 micrometer in diameter and life span of the RBC is 110 to 120 days. So before uh, going to the microcytic hypochromia so in the condition of microcytic hypochromic anemia there is a decrease MCV, MCH and MCSC. So MCV, MCV is mean corpuscular uh, volume. The normal MCV usually lies between the uh, 80 to 100 femtoliters and MCH, MCH is the mean corpuscular hemoglobin. The normal range of the MCH is uh, 26 to 30 picograms and MCSC. The MCSC is the mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration. The normal value of the MCSC uh, is the 31 to 37 gram per deciliter. So in the microcytic hypochromic anemia, there is a decrease MCB, MCH and MCSC. The microcytic hypochromic anemia usually seen in some of the
of the common conditions like iron deficiency anemia, thalassemia, anemia of chronic disease, sideroblastic anemia, and in the lead coil. So in the diagram show the arrow that show the uh, microcytes uh, in the stain of the MDG. The microcytes are uh, have the smaller diameter and volume than the normal, round and slightly oval shaped. And normally the MCV is usually less than 80 femtoliter or the less than 70 femtoliter. The shape of the RBC is flexible, biconcave or discoid shaped seen in the iron deficiency anemia, thalassemia and sideroblastic anemia. Picture of the microcytic hypochromia how uh, in the peripheral blood smear uh, you find the morphology of the RBC. The peripheral smear show the aniso and poikilocytosis. So anisocytosis means there is a change in size of the RBC and poikilocytosis there is a change in the shape of the RBC. So there is and I saw poikilocytosis may be the mild, moderate and severe. So soon in the diagram, the red blood cells are the microcytic since many are smaller than the nucleus of the lymphocytes. The lymphocytes are hypochromic with the increased central pallor and electrocyte and pencil separate cell or the tear drop cells are also seen in the microcytic hypochromic anemia. So in the diagram, there uh, so usually the in the RBC the central pallor is usually uh, the one third of the total RBC. But in the diagram uh, that show the there is an increase in central pallor, so there is a hypochromic red cell. Now come to the macrocytic anemia. So in the macrocytic anemia, there is an increase MCB, MCH or MCSC usually normal or the uh, increase or the uh, decrease. So macrocytic anemia is usually seen in the folic acid deficiency, B12 or covalamin deficiency and in the hypothyroidism. So in the blood picture and the macrocytes, macrocytes usually have the larger volume than the normal. Usually MCB is usually 100, uh, more than 100 femtoliter. The shape of the RBC are disquiet separate, a complete mature cell filled with the hemoglobin. The usually seen in the liver disease, drug induced anemia, B12, folic acid deficiency, it is seen. So here you see this is a blood picture of the uh, macrocytic anemia or may be due to the uh, folic acid or the B12 deficiency. So in the diagram there is the hypersegmented neutrophil. So how do you mean by hypersegmented neutrophil? Hypersegmented neutrophil usually the neutrophils have two to five lobes. If in the peripheral blood smear uh, more than five lobes and more than five percent uh, 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 seen. Uh, hypersegmented uh, hyper neutrophils then you say the, the, uh, these are the hypersegmented neutrophils so the RBC the size of the RBC is more than the uh, 8 microns so uh, the RBC looks like a uh, macro velocite sometimes there is a teardrop cells are seen so these are the blood picture of the uh, megaloblastic anemia or the macrocytic anemia now come to the sickle cell anemia so sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia there is a anemia or the hemolytic anemia in which there is a hemolysis of the red cells and the red cells become the cis uh, form or crenated form or the sickle separate this come like hasia so the sickle cell anemia it is a hereditary disease which is caused by a disorder in the blood, a mutation in the hemoglobin beta gene which can be found in the chromosomes 11. The disease causes the body to make abnormally shape of the red blood cells. A normal red blood cells is shaped as a rounded donut while the abnormal red blood cells has a C form or the crenated form in the sickle cell anemia. 
सो व्हाट आर द चेंजेस और डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सिकल सेल आर यू सी सो यूजली देर इज डी ऑक्सीजनेशन लीड टू द हाइड्रोफोबिक इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन द एडेक्सेंट एच बी एस मोलिकुल डिस्टोशन ऑफ आर यू सी इन टू द सिकल फॉर्म सेल रेपिड हेमोलाइसिस डिक्रीज इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ द सेल वॉल ऑफ द आर बी सी डिक्रीज लाइफ स्पेन ऑफ द आर बी सी टेन टू ट्वेंटी डे एंड देर इज ए क्लॉगिंग ऑफ आर बी सी इन द माइक्रो सर्कुलेशन so here you see in the diagram uh, these are the how the uh, sickle form of the rbc form so in the diagram one is the uh, normal blood cell other is the sickling of the rbc so in the normally there is a normal uh, normal red blood cells uh, are compact and flexible and enabling them to excuse through the uh, small capillary while in the sickle red blood cells are uh, small and angular and causing them to become uh, stuck in the uh, small capillary and the changes of the shape may lead to the sickling or perinated rbc so this is the blood picture that show the sickling of the rbc so in the diagram you show uh, that there is a uh, uh, numerous sickle reactions so diagram show the sickling of the rbc now the come to aspherocytes so aspherocytes means there is a aspherical shape usually the aspherocytosis usually seen in the hereditary aspherocytosis so these are the uh, occur due to the rbc membrane defect autosomal dominant disorder mutation occur in the aspectin and anacrin both are the membrane protein that are present in the uh, red cell membrane so due to defect in the rbc membrane may lead to the formation of aspherocytes that seen in the hereditary aspherocytosis so in the blood picture you see the aspherocytes so there is a uh, uh, paucity of the central pillar and the shape of the rbc is usually uh, globular and there is without central pillar the aspherocytes in the peripheral blood smear aspherocytes unable to pass through the spleen and uh, in hereditary aspherocytosis they do carry splenectomy thank you so these are 